Good morning. Can everyone hear me? Okay. 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 Excellent. Um, I just went through and I didn't have my mic on. All right. So welcome to the uh, Bookmap Pro Trader webinar series. And uh, today we have Joseph, a uh, J Trader. Uh, he's a stocks trader, uh, and he's going to go through how he uh, trades the market. So uh, we do this Pro Trader webinar series uh, once a quarter, and uh, the whole entire week we have professional traders come in and give their insights on how they use order flow and and uh, read bookmap so get insights to their strategies um, trading methodologies of the way they manage their trades and maybe their trader psychology as well their kind of outlook on the markets All right so this is um a today uh with joseph well he's actually a part of our uh daily uh, advanced webinars he presents on Wednesday and we have Scott Pulsini a, a futures trader on Thursday okay so you'll get insight to some of that uh, this week uh, Joseph will be the uh, he'll be live trading here all right so um, uh, you'll get insight to what our um, advanced education is all about uh, and then also Scott on Thursday Okay, so then tomorrow we have Brent Kachuba, an options trader, and then he, he'll also present on Friday. And then we have Raggy Horner on uh, on Wednesday. So really nice uh, um, group of uh, traders here. Uh, anyway, we'll go over um, more about uh, uh, Joseph. He, he's going to come in a little bit later here, but let me go over his, his trader biology uh, biography here uh, because uh, you guys uh, might be new in here uh, and since this is the free event. All right. So Jay Trader began trading at 18 years old, uh, trading equities and, and uh, options, basically, uh, trading quite a bit of size, 30 to 40 million uh, euros of volume each month, uh, and then going over $400 million uh, per year, mainly using uh, the tape. And uh, uh, he, he's an, an order flow uh, trader, scalper. Uh, wish that he had the, he wishes that he had Bookmap uh, back when he was trading uh, to get this kind of uh, edge or advantage here. Um, he uh, now uh, operates the small cap room uh, and uh, he uh, uh, is an educator. So if you're interested in uh, further mentoring or uh, education from JTrader, I'll put this into the chat for you guys. So uh, you can uh, reach out to Joseph directly if you like. All right. Now I need to go over the uh, disclosures here. Uh, and then uh, we're going to look at maybe the S&P E-mini for a little bit before uh, Joseph comes in here. Once Joseph comes in, uh, then uh, we'll uh, give the presentation right over to him. All right. So the general disclosure, um, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation, demo, paper trading mode, and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trading performance. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, let's see, Jerry. Um, oh, yeah, uh, the size that, uh, well, uh, I guess 400 million. That was, that was quite a while ago. I, I don't, I shudder to think how much um, uh, Joseph is uh, is trading uh, uh, these days. Um, anyway, um, and just, uh, you know, has just, you know, decades here of experience. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. All right, let's uh, we wait for Joseph. Um, I'll keep an eye out for him in the uh, in the chat here. Okay, once he's in, oh, there he is. He just he just came in. All right, so uh, we're gonna bypass the uh, S and P analysis here, um, as it's just starting to kind of move here and break out. Uh, we saw some of this a little bit in the. Uh, um, uh, previous webinar that uh, stop run here, but look who's buying here, okay? Uh, icebergs, and uh, now it's starting to move, uh, kind of creep to the upside here, basically. Uh, good morning, Joseph. Let me give you the uh, uh, presentation, and we'll let you take it away. Uh, good, good timing. Here we go.
Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Bookmap. Good morning, traders. Good morning, Joseph. How are you? Uh, great. Uh, such an incredible morning. Uh, I am going to explain what we did. Uh, uh, Bruce, do you see the monitor clear? Yes. Okay. So welcome, traders. Uh, basically, for who is new over here, um, I'm official mentor of uh, uh, Bookmap for equities. Um, I trade uh, options, stocks, big caps and small caps and futures. Uh, I'm trying to uh, teach traders and I think I'm doing it with pretty good success if you are uh, in my room or you see what we share on socials. So we have millionaire traders and uh, uh, six-figure traders in the room and basically we trade intraday and uh, or scalping. Okay, I would say 80% intraday. Um, we leave swing to my friend uh, Ripster or other great traders out there. So this morning we had um, uh, over here. I use over, uh, TD Ameritrade for uh, intraday charting only, and uh, TrainSpider for uh, daily charts. Okay. So I just want to first focus on CLSN one second because this stock, and I'm going to repeat it. Uh, just gonna put over here uh, this uh, app is still not available still something that I created with uh, my friend uh, Chris Ari will be available in a couple of weeks and I use it for stats so CLSN you can see that it has 69 million float small market cap everything below 300 or 400 millions so depends who, who tells you it's considered a small cap okay so you can stack the, the, the market cap of uh, Google <laughs> comparing to this and this company uh, basically um, didn't have today any great news. When you see over here, fast track designation, it means that uh, they're gonna like accelerate their, uh, I would say their test, all right? The same thing that happened uh, with, uh, with, the, with the COVID drugs. But this uh, news, fast track designation, not really that important. It's not uh, a primary endpoint met or phase three or a final endpoint method phase three, when basically they finish with all their tests and they're gonna go for the FDA approval. So the most important phase in uh, drugs, so in biotech company is the phase three final or primary endpoint met, okay? Because then it's almost always 90% gonna be an FDA approval unless they have to fix some few things, okay? So I, I think that this was like needed in order to clear uh, a little bit of but the, the concept is bigger there are many phases can last a few years can last many years and the company has to raise uh, different I would say a uh, dozen or even hundred million dollars to complete their, uh, their their drug okay and they don't have any guarantee that this will uh, this work just think about the COVID situation how many companies they got involved in production of vaccine and many of them failed so when it failed, you will see those big washes, those big panic selling, those big drop in the morning or after hours. So CLSN, what to see over here? What to advance from this? We have this day where we traded 165 million and it faded on the first day, okay? So it opened, had a little bit of push and then faded. I like to trade 50-50. So I trade 50% long, 50% short. This market is giving me, or is giving us a lot of opportunity also to long. Just think about SPI, FTFT, all these big, big runners that we had, AAME and so on. The second day that we had a big gap on CLSN was a gap extension. So around three open, 340, 350 extension, and then fill. So this morning, if you were in the room, I said, I'm gonna put it on YouTube later. I use bookmap and I use a chart. I call the trade timestamps in Discord, you will see in the YouTube channel. Uh, we shorted at 348. So the reason for me to look, and that was my plan to look for short on, on CLN, CLSN, was the fact that we had already two times a fader, that the news was fluff, so of not any importance, that the company has a low institutional ownership, and also look over here. This is the last big move that we had. We traded 21 million in pre-market. This morning, CLSN, pre-market traded 43 million, but that's not the difference. The difference is, you see that the day we traded also more than 100 million, okay? 
the high of days was 935. So this was our day. Okay, this over here, uh, 21, yeah, 30, um, 20 uh, over here. Let me see. Let's see if this day over here. I don't want to do any errors. Oh yes, this one over here. So 9:30, 9:30, 9:30. You can see over here it pops, extends almost to that 350. You see that 348, and then fail. All right. So uh, just let me bring up two seconds over here my uh, my 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 plan, the watch list. We were looking for uh, where I posted. I believe over here. Okay. So this is CLSN, uh, traded multiple accounts and multi brokers with my beer. You can see that exactly that 348. First, I took a stop of uh, 34 cents, 327 short, stop at 336. Then I short a big 348, 347, 343, uh, cover a little bit here to take a little bit of profit, added a little bit more, and then more. And then we are holding the trade. Okay, we're holding, you can see over here the evolution of the trade. Uh, 26, they cover something, we added more at 84, and now I'm holding until a possible 220. Why my entry? This is the point. Why I took the entry over there and several members in the room. Book map was the timing of this. Surely you need to know the setup. The setup that I was playing was a daily resistance and all the stuff I just explained to you. And we started the short over here, CLSN, at that 348. Why? Okay, look at me. CLSN. All right, over here. So let me bring it up like this. Okay, so this is book map. What can you see over here is this level, 350. So imagine that at 350, we know that this stock filled in the past, all right, reached 348. Today, and uh, I believe it was Bender in the room, okay, not Bender or Futurama, Bender, uh, a member in the room, uh, uh, said possible fake breakup, and we were looking for that fake breakup. We were looking something else, Bender was great, he alerted me on time, and I saw this pop above 350, so you can see that we cleared the resistance. Right away, we came below, and you see this big uh, sell over here. Uh, Bruce, do you see this big selling over here, 335? So I saw a big iceberg or this big zero jumping in. And I said, okay, we go below this 348. We have a great possibility that we're going to start to fail. And I said, I'm taking a feeler because still we were uptrend, still we were front side. There could have been a, a push up to the 380 before the fail. The main plan was a short bias. When it came a lower high over here, 348, I said, okay, you know what, traders? We're going to probably wash. And I recorded this. Risk 355. I said only pro traders because it's still like a risky trade. And then we had a wash. Over here was already 30 cents in profit. And when I saw this big algo over here, more over here, more over here, more over here, over here, and over here, I said they're like putting a wall of sellers above. So if I go over here on the right, configure column, put another current order book, okay, create. Let's put aggregate, extended. Uh, we can put bars and numbers. And let's put it over here. So at that moment, okay, when the price was over here, uh, let's see, over here, 314. Look at the huge amount of volume we had up here comparing to uh, this. So we had 310, let's say 350, 360, so 50 cents. We had exactly 1.5 million of sellers. 310, so 260, two, um, two if my math is correct, we had over here 800. So we had almost double of sellers comparing to the buyers. Is it clear, this traders? Bruce, makes sense? Yeah, yeah, no, great use of the uh, aggregate book like that. Excellent. And then just look over here at open soaks, 1 million. And I said, you know what, traders? We're gonna add over here, we added. And I was trailing in the money, so I added big. This was our risk, you see, I'll go 320. We never got there. And from that moment, it was always a panic for the longs. Always a panic. You see, we go down, pop into the big heat map, boom, sell. Pop into the heat map, sell. Pop into the heat map, sell. Pop into the heat map, right now, while I'm talking to you, and it's selling off. So what are the heat maps? What are the levels that you have to look for sure? So let's see if I can do this with a 
with a book map. I would put a rectangle, I would say. So you see over here, uh, this level of support then becomes a resistance. So when we have, so let me do line over here. I really don't like this line, so we'll do this. I need to customize it. Uh, so edit, edit over here. I always like, well, this is just like my, my obsession <laughs> with things. I want them perfect. Okay, that, that is fine. Oh, sorry. Let's put pink. Save and close. So you see this. This level is the heat map. This level is the rejection. Then we have iceberg orders jumping in. And then over here. Okay. So always careful because we can have a spike and then looking to re-add the round three. But basically, this is what I was looking all this morning when we had uh, CLSI. Right now, what are we going to do? Let's wait for a possible push at 295, three bucks in order to uh, short more. At the same time, we shorted 348 on Rito with all the ads. Again, over here, why we short Rito? So, sorry, this before was um, uh, CLSN. Rito, this was CLSN, so Rito, we shot it there at 348, 344, and so on, for the reason that I explained before, even this stock, Rito, over here, had basically um, no buyers after we trapped them above 350, and I was looking for an unwind, okay? So that was my point. I also had a stop, so it's... Um, it's uh, good to show even when things didn't work. Um, I was looking for a short. You can see over here, Saba. So this is the uptrend we had. Once we had um, this rejection over here, traders, the dig lines, I got in 62.30, this level. We were fading. We held the support over here, 61.90. Actually, sorry, was this level. We showed over here 62.30, we went 61.50, and I saw a big, and I want to show on bookmap because Bruce will tell me uh, that's amazing way how to use bookmap. You see this level? We had an hidden buyer. So I also recorded, so we'll share after with Bruce once uh, the day is done. This 61.50 was a hidden buyer, and there was no way, unless you look times in sales and sales uh, and bookmap, that you could. Uh, I would say, notice this. My goal was to short and hold for this uh, $60 level, but it didn't happen, okay? So I caught it. I caught it at 60, uh, 66, 62 and 30, because I also had an ad, 62 and 35, exactly. Saba, I wanna show you that moment. So look over here, traders, look over here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, you see this level over here? Look how smart they were. Uh, Bruce, look at me, buddy. So we had 61.50 soaking over here, soaking. And you see that they were not really showing a huge amount of support, just soaking. Then a big algo came over here. And my first thought was, honestly, oh, probably they're trapping over here longs in order to make them buy on the bid, but we have a seller. But vice versa, they can do the opposite thing. So they can trap short sellers being, I would say, enhanced by the present of this big huge algo at 62 that will think for a possible breakdown. You see over here, they, they push it, they, they broke it. So this is a free breakdown, reclaim it, then pop it. And I had to stop it on this dip over here, 62, 30, 35, okay? And then we had the reversal, okay? So when you see these things, you can even uh, take it for the reversal. But this is very important. This is how really you can use your software as a pro trader, okay? So uh, in the room, we are still in position CLSN and Rito short. Uh, I'm gonna do as usual over here to show you how to take the fields and everything with, uh, uh, with book map, okay? So this is for educational purpose. And we're gonna see if we're gonna have more possible trades. My playlist this morning or watch list as you wanna call it was CLSN, Rito. As I said, we had two incredible trades. Sava for a small stop, and also I was looking at Tesla NES. Basically, uh, 
this is my area. We covered last week with the Bruce, what is this area? And you can see that we had a perfect, perfect top over here. Okay, so book map, this resistance, reason short. Same if I have on the bid, support, heat map, and long. Okay, when I call heat map, remember always a big level where we have buyers or sellers, or buyers for the dip, sellers for the uh, for the S. All right, we're gonna put over here Silla Sand for now. We're gonna put the Rito. As I said, all these shorts you cannot trade, for example, with uh, with the Ameritrade. I use this only for charting. I would suggest you really to use Cobra um, because it allows you to take all these um, all these hard to borrow stocks. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's look if we're going to have on these three stocks a possible entry. So you can see, traders, that we are pretty right. We wanted this fake break out over here of Silla um, um, Sand resistance 260, 280, sorry me. And I'm looking for a short. Okay, so my plan is to look for a short. Red zone, uh, red area, pretty st strong volume, 1 million over here. So I'm aware that we're trading something with high volume. Over here, we, we can prepare this. We can prepare also uh, Saba. But let's see if we're going to have any kind of timing to short CLSN. Okay, so we are trading what we covered last time in the room with Bruce together at JLM rejection. And why I trade JLS? So basically, I, I discovered them in back 2003, 2004 when I moved from cover warrants. And you can see that above the JLS, I'm looking too long, below the JLS, I'm looking too short. Same on Rito, same on Sava, same on Futures. On the use of yes, is simply amazing. Just want to show you this, Bruce. This morning I had each rejection at that level using my J lines over here. So you can see the J lines. Each time we toss the yellow, we have a perfect short. Okay. This is uh, a mini. Okay. We're getting over here a possible breach. So this is a short over here at 281. Um, going to add until 292. So this will be my risk, 292. It's closing below the 90 May. So I'm going to trade uh, a total amount over here. Again, this is for educational purpose. An average of uh, 10, 15K. So for me, that's one third starter on the close below the 90 May, uh, risking this uh, 295. Okay, so also level of VWAP over here. I'm looking to add if we have another lower high, 288, 290. Okay, so that's the plan. And target that we're looking is uh, 250, then 220. Now we are doing the same thing on uh, our uh, live accounts because basically this morning this was our trade. So we're recycling trade, uh, shares uh, from this uh, 348 that I explained before. So let's see together. We have only red sellers over here, okay? So sellers, you can see that my times in sales is filtered for at least 3,000 shares. So I really don't consider anything below those uh, 3,999 shares. Why that level? Basically is a level that I feel pretty comfortable in reading to take, okay? So I like the fact that over here we're having a pretty good amount of uh, sellers, half a million at 290s. Uh, big seller still over here in the cumulative um, volume. 282, they're holding over here support, so we have an hidden buyer. The same thing we saw before on Saba, you see it. 281, crack, we crack 280, bye-bye Jack, we're going to have 270. Okay, traders, so getting ready. If we can have another ad. So we're trying to prop it. Read over here for a possible more unwind. Below 250. Yeah, see read over here also, sellers. Okay. 282, 22. They're soaking a little bit this 282, but I see still more sellers. Okay. So our plan is to look for at least 3R. Don't ever trade anything if your risk reward 
is not one to three. So you're risking, for example, in this case, around 10 cents in order to make 30. All right, don't do it if it's less than that. So I wanna see another rejection to load the both on CLSM. Otherwise, if this goes up, breaks 294, 295, I'm gonna get out only with one third of loss. If we have a lower high, I'm gonna add more. I like over here this spot. So if we reject 250, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna short more in this case. We also have to monitor Tesla. So our risk is over here is micro risk is 251. See the algo went away at 250, so careful, we have to risk the 251. Micro risk, each stock that we traded this morning had a very tight risk. So I'm risking that level over there, big heat map, okay? So let's see if we can get a stuff. So small trades, only uh, 5 k sh shares when you are like still testing it, okay? Let's see if we're gonna have a little bit more uh, rejection below this 290 on uh, CLSN to confirm a lower high. You see that we're still at that level of resistance. Over here, we are risking just a few cents, 249, so risking 251, 52. Okay, reason to add the bid. Why big alg over here? So we wanna add more. Okay, so probably gonna have a wash to 230 right now on uh, uh, Rito, risking that 250, okay? Yeah, some buyers coming in for sure um, on the on the way up. Uh, but yeah. uh, if, you, if, the, if those sellers can bring it down below those guys, they'll they'll all have to run for the hills and and, and cover. Exactly. All morning this was fading lower high, lower high, lower high. So basically, it was only a reason to recycle uh, and having like at least always four or five R of return. If it's a stop, will be a stop. Two cents, really nobody dies. But I really like the, the setups that this morning Rito was giving us. Uh, with CLSN, I totally agree with you. Uh, we have buyers over here that are trying to profit. So that's the reason why I'm risking the 295. Okay, went and reason to get out over here. You see that algo went. Okay, so basically sellers and micro stop over here. Okay, let's look for a possible re entry. This time, if we get at let's say 270 where we have also book map over here so always do this on your charts start looking for possible um, setups so remember our risk is always that 294 295 still a one third position only let's also check over here sava So they're trying to profit over here. Let's see if I start seeing some big sellers, not yet. If I start seeing that 294 stacking on CLSN, it's the reason to add over here. Sellers coming, let's see. Careful, this 295 went away. And it's curling. So not yet the reason to short. Only stay with one third. 295 going, I will get out. Soaked over here on the ask. Added. Added. Okay. So now we are in full position with that 15K we wanted. So they soak over here at 295. There's a good possibility that this is a, a good trade with a tight risk. Okay. We're going to risk a few cents, five cents over here. 
as I said, by doing this, having very tight stops, when the trade is going, you will have a very good risk reward, okay? And don't ever like to trade on these small caps over here, small price stocks uh, with a lot of risk, generally between one and five cents, six cents the most. And entries are almost always pinpoint, okay? So it's forming a lower high. You can see at this resistance, I want to see more sellers. Volume is still big because we have bars of 1.5 million. So always analyze the importance of the volume. If we're going to break this trend line, it's going to fail. For now, we're trading the, the top tick, I would say action, okay? Into a big heat map resistance. So you can see that below over here, we have a low amount. We have 100K and over here we have 300, 650K. So we have more sellers into the area than the buyers. And that really tells me we can have a good unwind, okay? Look the amount of sellers, look the amount of buyers, stars in red. We need to hold the position over here, okay? Test of the J lines. Nothing on Saba. Riot is another one that we have to watch with the Bitcoin moving so much. Mara, Riot can be very good candidates over here to trade. Tesla, absolutely to watch over here. Big move. Unwind from the 9MA and big wash over here. Let's put up Tesla. Okay, careful over here near the stop. If it holds to 96, I'm going to get out. Okay, fade it again below. So let's put up uh, Tesla in the meantime. So big volume exhaustion on Tesla. Let's see, we're gonna form a kind of heat map for a possible over here bounce play. They're still trying to attack traders at 296, so very careful. Probably stop over here coming. Reason to get out, tight stop, you see it, micro stop. And now let's see if we're gonna have another rejection and another fade. So when I see generally these uh, big washes on Tesla, what I'm looking is for a possible reversal. So I'm looking over here on Bookmap if I start seeing buyers and a higher low. So let's wait that we have this trend line break to be totally sure for the reversal on CLSN and the rejection. The open level was 315, so we're still trading a, a stock that has unwinding big. Let's continue to do lower highs, lower highs, support 740 over here on Tesla. Seven forty one. Small bounce over here on Tesla, two ninety nine over here on. Uh, On CLSN, let's see if we fail the 295. Careful, big volume over there. 
start a position on Tesla long okay so reason why we have big support we had a passive reversal if we close green over here start curling I will add more so just a feeler over here let's say you want to get 1500 shares 1000 shares this is a big volume exhaustion um, volume diversion over here possible good setup so the point is to add in this area 41 43 risking the 740 this is a counter trend trade just using bookmap Okay, status pushing, reason to buy on the bid. See over here is forming, so I want to buy it on the bid over here. So I wanted to scale out a little bit, wanted to add over here again, because there's making this high low with the heat map over here, 743. So this could be a 745 and then 750 big position. Let's see. Stop would be this low, 740 and 90. Some big green over here. I like to see this 1,000, 5,000, 3,000 all in Tesla. Let's see. Still buyers over here, 741. We can have a big push to 750 on Tesla. Let's see. Wanted to add a little bit more, the 741. I was waiting the 741 to add. I think now we missed it. This will run. Buyers coming in, can hold 745, go 750. So until we are in this position, let it work, okay? So we're risking very small in terms of cents. And we're looking at for at least four R on this trade. Okay, volume exhaustion, uh, divergence over here on the volume, big support on heat map, 740. I was looking this on the daily, reason to buy the dip. So this could be a good one. Careful for a possible trade on uh, uh, CLS San and start seeing some sellers. Still not ready to short, still not ready to short. Have patience. Always have a stop loss, know what you're risking. So what we're doing again is looking for a trend line on CLN and short on rejection of the Jalens over here. See these Jalens. And over here, we're looking for a pop to 754, 746 will go, we'll have a 750. So breaking the 9MA would be our confirmation. We can flatten this if we fail to break the 746. Okay, we can flatten this. 
So risking break even right now, and then we can rebuy to lower 741, right? Instead of adding, it, let's say, if you're a full size position. 746 went, so we should have a run over here. We bought the dip. Let's see if it can push. Some uh, consolidating over here. So take in just a small profit, pay yourself a little bit, 746. Okay, stop over here, short the bid. Big stop on sale ascent, short the bid, bang. We're gonna add more, risking this 310. This is a beautiful stop for me, this 309. So let's see, still green, lower highs, we're gonna add. Low resistance for now on um, Tesla. So this can push big, I'm telling you. So more sellers up here. On CLSN, you can see 500K more than the buyers, all right? They're still trying to profit. I'm gonna risk this 310, no more than that 310. And over here, the rest break even right now on Tesla. And then we're gonna rebuy it in case it fails around 741, 740, 742, this year over here. So, okay, lower high. I like the solar high, very tight stop. Let's see confirmed bar below 303. If it feels 745, Tesla will unwind. So careful over here to get out. So we can get out over here in the money. Here we can buy the bit more, short the bit more, sorry, because it's making a lower high confirmed. So <clears throat> let's see, Tesla over here. Now we're out. We had to wait 741, 740 this year, okay? So still looking for a possible bounce after this volume exhaustion. And Rito is getting to the J ones. So Rito again. Let's put it over here one second because we can have a possible entry. 270 over here. Let's see, Jalen over here, first top, 268. Let's see if I can have a rejection. 269 tested, slamming the bid. Okay, risk is 270. Okay, traders. So I'm trading J line rejection on uh, Rito and I'm trading uh, uh, anticipation on a big resistance or a possible trend break on Silicon. Okay. So they're trying to stack this 266. Let's see if it goes. Sellers in. I see more sellers over here on the ask. You see it? We failed 265, this will unwind more. So these are the levels that I like to trade. Even if we will have a stop, these are the good levels to trade, okay? Look what a stack ask we have over there on retail traders at 270. So trying to buy 270 to 71. So my max risk, I will put the 275. Give a little bit of wiggle room, in this case is needed because it's stack wall of sellers.
We're risking very small as usual. Okay, J lines over here on uh, CLSN. We'll go. Let's wait for 260. So I want to see a big short over there. Okay. Trend line break. Careful remove of that big sellers over here on the ask on Rito. You see it? We don't have those big sellers anymore. So that can tell me, hey, careful, Jay, you have to get out. So even here, I want to see a fail of the J lines, a stack ask. Adding short over here, 290 on um, uh, CLSN. So careful traders, half position in on Rito. I wanna see this fill of day lines to add big. <clears throat> and now we can stop maximum break even on our CLSN. You see they remove the liquidity. 740 breakdown from Tesla. Let's see if we're gonna break the 280. Breaks 279, 280 start chipping. I'm out of Rito. If we're gonna fill below 270, I'm gonna add full size on Rito. Trade like this. If it gives me the A plus setup, you can trade easily 20, 30k shares. Okay, it's coming. So let's look, we can have ads. This is exactly what I do with Tamabir. So exactly the same process. Over here, stack. Let's see if it fails, okay? You wanna see this fail below the J lines again to add big. And right now you wanna see the fail over here, 289 to add big. All right, is it clear? So still no sellers, look on the times and sales, only small sellers I really don't consider. Risking in the money on a CLSN right now and looking to add full size on Rito. So careful over here on a CLSN 294, they're trying to hold it micro support to 89. They're trying to buy out, out, flatten position. Before the break, you want to get out. And if we have a stuff, you can think about re-entering. Reshorting over here because it's stuffed, risking 280. Full size, you want to trade it. So risking. You see, this is a fake breakout. You want to be in full size, risking again the 280. So they made this on purpose to trap the longs, trap the shorts, but basically more the longs over here on the break of 280. Like, you know, it's a very important level. Stuff, let's see if we can have a trend line break. We have 1 million volume bar on that pop over here. And now I don't see any buyers. So it should be a safe line one to 240. Okay, so much better when you see things like this, right? Okay, breakdown, see a sand, hold it. When I see a breakdown, this um, level over here, 260 to 65 on Rito. So at this point, you don't really need to look at the chart. You look only at the tape, times and sales. I personally look at the times and sales even more than to look over here on the levels. I know the levels in my mind already, so I just need to see green. Okay, buyers, get out, break even for it, for example. Sellers, red, hold it, okay. So more and wine on Tesla, waiting to attack it. If traders, this zone becomes red, you see over here on my chart, I'm going to do like this. 
on CLSN. Boom. Possible more add. Actually, this would be my full size. Uh, and over here, the same thing. Uh, it's already red. They want to see a fill of the day. So right. I'm gonna risk break even now on Rito. We can always reattack because it's holding my J lines, okay? So I don't wanna get in any out over here. Let's wait. It's still curling over here. Let's wait for this trend line break to add big or to the short in this case. So I prefer to take a scratch, spread trade over here. Okay, rejection, stuffed again. Reason to reshort, reason to reshort. You see, second stuff. So right now, risking this 276, okay? This could be a very good short coming. Trying to cover here something the bid on... Uh, Sell a sand only to pay myself. Okay, let's start seeing traders also at Tesla. All right, let's start seeing also Tesla over here. So big support. I think we missed this the 735 big map support over here. So let's wait for a second. All right. Don't want to jump in. Just chasing is not my style of trading. I prefer to buy dips, prefer to buy pullbacks, then to chase uh then to chase a, a breakout. Okay. So read the J lines over here. Uh, CLSN J lines over here. Out all in the money on CLSN. Let's see. Oh, another one. Big support, big resistance. We adding short. Risking 293, exactly this level. So I'm risking that big seller over there. Okay, till we have that seller. I'm shorting this. Went away. Careful. So they're manipulating over here the tape. Careful, they're manipulating over here the tape. And if often you will do this, unless you have an A plus setup of a clean J line rejection, you will enter, exit, size down. So this is how the Pro traders do it, okay? It's killing in, it's killing out, very, very important. Adding over here on uh, uh, Rito, I really like this. I really like this one. This is an A plus setup for me. This is risking the 275. This is my risk. Below 290, this time we're gonna have a fail, okay? Shorting big over here. CLSN, we're gonna have a fill on both. 290, beautiful breakdown. We'll have a wash trader. This will pay like five, six times more. Good, stay in. This is the timing. So both trend breaks. This is becoming red. You see the zone over here is becoming red. So risk one is now 271, and the other one over here is risk exactly 295. Okay, so I'm gonna do like this, I'm gonna do like this, I'm gonna do like this, and over here I'm gonna keep only my risk, this and this. Okay, so you can basically follow me and see how to manage the trade position. If we have failure, will be a home run. If we have a stop, will be a good stop because this is an A plus setup on both 
okay query see big sellers think we're gonna have a good wash 260 as well over here let's see still on winey rito probably for a wash at 250 okay so 250 we have that half dollar number the final target on this is 220. so you can see that until uh, uh contrary trade we're holding this and i like over here tesla really like over here tesla for a bounce just gonna put a feeler sorry over here just gonna put feeler over here on tesla and the risk on tesla will be the 740 so the whole round dollar number okay just because i couldn't buy the 735 so i'm going to hold the feel over here 742 and 50 on tesla all right <clears throat> but this was a beautiful level too long the 736 let's go back on uh, silla sand let's see what it's doing support 280 micro support 280 bold trend line break bold red zone bold 90 ma below j lines a reason to hold assume your stop reason to hold Let's see also here more stock. See if they are washing. Car washing. Saba unwinded. Finally. Riot was the other one, traders. Okay, J lines. Okay, so check on a riot over here. And then we can put Tesla back again. Also, ATIF breakout breakout and popping so let's see also atif is a small float above open level we can have a good long over here atif atif reason for me to take a feeler over here let's see I really like ATIF for a long. This is, has history of fading, but I really like this reclaim mid morning of this 210 open level. So, possibly for me looking for long. The long I wanted was 210. If you are a member of my room, you would have cut, caught that exactly over here. Curl up on the one minute J lines, reason to buy 211. Let's give time to ATIF, but could be a good long. Sell a send, we have only to hold it over here. We'll risk 270, want to see really a fader to 220. And over here, we have only to hold sell a send, okay? But today, trust me, continue to watch ATIF, because if we will have another long consolidation, like this in a curl, this could go even at three today. Why I tell you this? Because all the biggest longs we had in the recent times, okay, in the last few months, I would say from um, September, October, 2020, uh, happened in the same way. So they hold over here, they start holding this level and then they start curling and popping, okay? So 722, this is the reason for me to start the long by the ask. Risking 210, 215. For me, this could lead to a good squeeze, okay?
not full size position because we missed the 210 over here okay so you cannot trade a full size position on the break of that uh, 230 you can buy more over here so let's see otherwise we'll risk 215 small position nothing big at this time but the volume is there 1 million okay buying adding okay so adding risk and less stuff 215 220 okay this could lead to 250 so i'm looking for that 250 this is the way that i like to long but again i'm explaining you this curl if you come and see my playbook this is your a plus setup okay we're trading over here a secondary trade so this trade has to be half size of this one over here all right so let's see this stop would be 215 over here we get a stop it's fine it's all part of the game so <clears throat> in the long term trading like this you will have very good wins and you will catch the big runs remember on the daily we have a daily breakout to 15 so beautiful for me this will be a very good long okay daily swing possible 215 uh 2 250 then 3 okay 250 then three you see how much volume we have over here traders you see this breakout over here that we have at 216 that's a very good pattern okay whenever you're you're trading intraday start looking okay what is going what is doing on the hourly what is doing on the daily okay daily is having a daily breakout over here from uh, friday maybe this will be a stop it's fine but then maybe we can have a long of one buck or more in the afternoon okay so start watching these patterns meanwhile over here watching for a wash and see and rita so no reason to even look at those Till they're doing lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. So now you can trail 283, so you can lower your trail uh, to 261 over here. Okay. And probably this is going to be a stop at 215. But again, if you play this in the long run, it can be a very good setup to trade. It puts some sellers over here to uh, 20 to 19 they're still buying they're still buying over here they're still buying until we have this break on 215 this is still a good trade gonna wash more instead of retail bang 247 just hold it okay money maker on this bang we're gonna have on retail traders 220 okay so patience right patience hold it is it clear? Bruce, are you still with me, buddy? Or you went for an Italian coffee? Yeah, I just got back. <laughs> okay. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you got to get a you got to get a, a cafe. Um, no, it looks looks excellent, Joseph. Lots of buying there um, and uh, uh, some strong buying. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you see that volume over here, and you see these these buyers. You can even filter like twenty thousand, and, and you see that we have buyers above twenty thousand. And meanwhile, Rito and Silla Century are beautiful, so they're paying yeah. off over here. Okay, they're paying off. Just hold these. Just hold these. Just hold these. All I mean right? that that Rito is just really diving diving off the cliff yeah. there. Yeah. Only Jayla rejection. Jayla rejection. Some cuts uh let's say i'm trying to anticipate but it's still like playing good for now okay yeah, let's see the CL, clsn looks great as well everything everything panning out nicely here took took a little while like uh it you know yeah. some buying buying pressure came in but uh uh it's it's turned over yeah and look at the members in my room what they're doing <laughs> they shorted the same written clsn well done 
The point is knowing the setup. You can have one to stop, but then if you nail the big one, it can really pay off. Traders, start watching 225 for adding over here on uh, ATIF because it's curling on the 90 May. 226 breaks, my bud. This could lead to a big move. 227 goes, I'm gonna add over here. 227 goes, I'm gonna add. Not, not, not doing it. Let's wait. Let's wait. 228, 228, 228, 228, 228. This is gonna run probably, okay? Unless a stuff, if it breaks 228, it's gonna run. Okay, let's see over here. <clears throat> can raise my stop at 219, so falling for now. And we can hold for now Rito or till break even for lowering with the, the lower lower highs, okay? Red bar on this. I want to see a green bar on this confirming the 225 hold. I try today, traders, not to scalp, but to show you basically the A plus setups. All right. For me, this is an A plus setups. Uh, this uh, ATIF above 228. can go to 250, risk is 9MA right now, the 219. It didn't break over here, it's soaked, so careful. Okay, so 135K, careful. You see sellers panicking over here, buyers panicking over here. Let's see if they're gonna hold and push. We can always scale out, scale back in, all right. Yeah, that's such an advantage of the of the retail trader. Mm -hmm. I believe. Till we have that 220, we can hold it below 220. Bye bye, Jack. If falls 220, means it's still not ready. But again, it doesn't mean that won't be ready today. Maybe like an afternoon, one hour, two hours can be a very good setup. 222. 222, let's see, 221, reason to get out of it here, flat it, okay, because we'll wash. Uh, Robert is asking, uh, what was the um, uh, lowest high there um, in, in Rito? Uh, was it 246 or 55? Uh, the lower high is 261. If you instead look at with book map, you would say 244, 245. So what can you do? Let's say you have a good average, all right? We have 267 over here. So basically, if three claims 246 on the bid, you can simply trail partial, okay? So at least you have that half, okay? I would cover half of profit. And then you use the stop at 267 or 265 or 263 in the money. Basically, also we have Jalen's over there, okay? So my idea being that my main target for these is to hold until the main uh, level of 220, $2, okay? So I'm looking for 6, 7 R on this trade right now, is to hold it, basically, having patience. But, you know, you also need to be always alerted uh, that anything can reverse, and we need to always take a little bit of profit, okay? Like uh, trail a little bit or take out, right? Pay yourself. Right now, it seems curling down. 237 breaks, we're gonna have that 220, okay? You see over here, boom, wash, no buyers over here. All the buyers, all the longs are panicking. Traders, is not done, ATIF is holding, for, uh, still pretty good, until uh, ATIF is holding the uh, J lines, and the view up to date, trust me, even we'll finish the screen share with, uh, with Bruce, maybe in one, two, three hours, this could lead to a big, big, big move. Why I'm telling you this? Very strange, a stock with this float with basically will basically hold the open level so long until 11. Somebody has been absorbing, and I saw it by the tape. Now we need to know if this absorption, a 
okay what what it means absorption it means that not me not bruce not even all the chat rooms out there but somebody big at this level 192 bucks they really started to low okay so i'm gonna do like this so you maybe understand better bruce does it make sense i think bruce went for another coffee so oh, no, over no, here. for sure i i i'm i i was considering another coffee okay so over here trader this is the open level this gray zone you see this is going green as i said the a plus setup for me with my tra uh, trading system is long over here risking this low and often we can have these okay i'm not kidding really you see spy if you see all the big moves this happened and if you look at uh over here still curling mm. So if you look at uh, this, I want to focus really on ATIF because if this moves, will move big. And you look on your book map over here. What can you see? This level had a lot of dips, uh, 185, 180, 190, 185, 190, 188, and what I held. Broke this level over here, 210, and now it's like, for now, it's consolidating above the 210 area. So this previous resistance, you see one, two, three stack resistance. For now, they're holding the support. They're holding the 215. And if we consolidate over here, we can push to the upside, okay? I'm just gonna watch over here. Uh, let's say we have a fake breakout, fake breakdown of the VWAP, possible a starter, all right? And I'm just gonna, but that is my main uh, stock to watch for the afternoon for now on ATF. Okay, break down the VWAP. Let's see if we reclaim it. If we reclaim the VWAP over here, means you know what? Trap for the shorts. So ready to go and buy on the ask or in the bid is even better. Let's watch also after again clsn just want to see one second clsn so we have average 288 okay basically until i'm not break even i won't i won't really cover this so we'll hold it uh let's see the reward atif wheat is falling bye bye jack okay holding over here 215 careful 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 in atf i'm gonna repeat it looking to take a feel over here the close above this vweb over here looking to take a feeler rito going to 220 clsn looking for the same unwind okay Took a feel over here, risking that VWAP, 213, 214 on ATIF. Let's see, just a feeler. This is the level of risk. This we can take it off, remove. This we can take it off, remove. So for now, it's a fake breakdown, let's see. Uh, Joseph, uh, maybe uh, can you comment on uh, the partial uh, profit taking? Um, is it because um, your setup is very high probability? Uh, yes. Therefore, yes. Okay. So uh, I will leave now one second the, the, the trades uh, there. Okay, so let's say traders, or we long or we're short, it doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. Let's say we're short like we are 267, okay? My first risk was 276. The more I get in the money, the lower I move my trail. So for example, from uh, having a stop loss 276, I move it down to this previous relative high. Now I move it down to this previous relative high. So if things go bad, I still get my profit from 267 to 244, all right? But also what I do, let's say I'm looking for a move and this morning i'm still holding the trade after we'll share again the trade in uh, in the score room on uh, uh on small cap room we shorted 348 
we added down here and down here. So when I was shorting 348, my first risk was this high, 366. But when this got to this level, so you see this uh, blue wave, this is called my J lines, right? I got out of it here, we got out of it here, partial of our position. Because often from this level, we can have a, a pushback, high volume, and even, you know, when they get halted, when they have these fast moves, spikes. Came the spike over here, stuff, we add a little bit more, and then this is my second target. Again, I wanted to trim some, because I know that we can have a pop, and then get to here. All right, when we had this, then we were shorted big again. Uh, let's see. Okay, this doesn't work. Didn't work. ATIF. All right. So didn't work. Uh, we have big support over here. Two zero eight. I have a feeler. I can decide to hold that two zero eight. Otherwise, it would be very, very disciplined to stop it immediately. If I would be full size position. Uh, CLSN. The same thing. All right. So we short it over here. Three forty eight. Seems today always this forty eight forty eight. Then came down, this is my first target. And then I started rejecting over here, lower high, lower high. So let's say that you are short, okay? Let's say that you took this extension with me. We get to this level, I put my stop in the money. We get down here, okay? So we are this 280, I put my trailing stop over here. So if things go bad, I still lock in my profits. We get down here, I move my trailing. We get down here, I move my trailing. We get down here and I move my trailing. So at this point, I would get out or entirely or a big chunk of my position. This is how you lock in profits. Okay. In this market, we never know. I saw so many stuff that came to this level over here, the, the pink purple zone, and then boom, they spiked even like two, three hundred percent. All right. So it's very important for me that you lock in profits and then you can trade surely if you are above PDT rule around the core. Okay, so over here we have a, a J line support. Reason for me to buy a little bit more on the ask or on the bid. Okay, risk and maximum is 207 because of my J lines. You see over here, this is my J lines. When I see that, I want to basically uh, take um, position over here. We can cover a little bit. Sorry, uh, uh, uh. I wanted to cover, not add. Okay, let's see. This is because I'm already trading six hours this morning. Okay, we took entirely position, but basically is to hold this over here. Let's put ATIF and let's watch over here. Okay, look what's doing the trade. Holding the J lines, all right? So come with me, I'm going to show you a few things and then you can tell me, I'm going to basically explain you the reason why I look the law. So this is futures. You see traders, even Bruce, you see that blue zone is the same thing. Each time it gets to the dip, if I have the volume, I want to basically trade it long, all right? And this is why I take short rejection of the J lines. Each time we get to the J lines, that blue area, I want it to short. All right. And this is the long that we had over here last week. So SCKT, I traded long from 13, 12, 40, 12, 70 until 19. I made even a video. Uh, I stream uh, live, I shared the trade and everything. My error, I sold too early. Went 36. If I remember correctly, I sold at 19 and something. Yeah. 33 and something up here. So why I took the long over here, you see how it held after 11 o'clock, the open level. So right now we took this trade, okay? I took this long on the J lines and I got stopped, it's okay. But then if you took the next one and it works, you will get paid like 50, 60 times more to stop. Bruce, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the um, is, and from your back testing, you know your strategy is high exactly. probability. And this is another one, AEZS, two weeks ago, okay, 10th of February, consolidates all day, holds that level, boom, this is the long, 
this is ad, this is ad. So you see my J lines, how sick they are. The viewer is down here. So it really doesn't give you anything. Look at my J lines. You miss the first one, take the second one, take the third one. Boom, home run. This is how you build your account, two, three times more in a day. Okay, so, okay, now it went down, it cracked, I had to stop, whatever, we are over here together, doesn't really matter. But the point is, trade the setups, and then use bookmap for the confirmation, okay? So we can flatten over here, uh, flatten all, okay, done. We'll revisit if we have a setup today on ATIF. Now let's continue to follow CLSN, and I would say uh, uh, Rito. Okay, so still curling down, break 275, then we have support 273. Very low liquidity over here, very low liquidity on the support on CLSN. Um, expecting a small pop with this volume over here, 200K average on Rito. You see, probably these are covers, not really the buyers. Again, they can even hold this micro support to 40 and they're washing it. Okay, so all these can be like small um, reads, okay, in the money adding to your position. So cracking this 239, 238, boom, you can add like 500 shares, 1,000 shares small, so that your average doesn't uh, fall too much, all right? And I will continue again, repeat it, to follow today ATIF. So let's see also if we have any other movers. Um, well done, Cabo. This morning, the watch we had Tesla, Apple, Saba, Tiff, Rito, Silesan. Uh, for now, I would say let's focus on these. I mean, miss the Tesla, so nothing. Again, when I say about the J-Lines, all right, this is it. So got to that 748 and rejected. So, or I find the picture perfect short the J-Lines. And at this level, I also have heat map. So book map confirming. Otherwise, I see for, I look for a trend line break, a lower high rejection of the trend. And then I look to, to trade for the unwind, okay? So right now, just to look with you, even the trade is gone. Let's look together at Tesla. Let's look if 15 minutes ago we had uh, resistance 748. So what can we see over here? Let me do like this. Is it 750? We had a big resistance. Okay, 748. We have this uh, small need maybe in this case. So not really a huge one pop into this 748 fail rejection second pop to that 747 cannot hold and then starts down wine okay till 743 so these are the level that they really look to to short clsn so clsn i see only sellers over here not really a lot of buyers. Any questions, traders? It's almost uh, 11.30. Probably will slow down a little bit over here, the price action. 
No, no, no uh, questions. I've been answering uh, the uh, previous questions here. So any any more questions, please get them in for uh, Joseph. So all the red tape over here on uh, CLSN. Let's check book map. Okay. So above we still have this huge amount of sellers. When I say huge amount of sellers, all wall of sellers. Okay. I mean this one, two, three, four, five big sellers over here. And you can see that we have around 1.6 million up till 320 of sellers. So it's a very good amount of sellers for a small cap. And then we have more over here. So up until 350, we have 3 million of volume of sellers. So still traders that they want to get out from, uh, from the stock. Probably some bag holders, probably some trader that over here um, got long and couldn't get out over here at 350. They were waiting, maybe this will go seven. Yeah, sure. And probably also some short sellers. Okay, they, they just want to get a feel in case we have pops. So they have already limit orders out. Um, for now, we have average 288. So reason for me to risk the break even or to go for the two dollars, two twenty dollars to move. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I love the way you use a, a, a bigger approach uh, and smaller approach uh, with the um, uh, the book map uh, heat map to con confirm. You've got your you got your bigger uh, you know higher time frame approach with your J lines and your setup. Now you're looking at the confirmation here in Bookmap. Absolutely, I would say uh, I trade using both. Okay, I trade using both. That gives me uh, the best confirmation possible. The more things you add, okay, that confirms the same thesis, the better will be the i would say that the result okay this doesn't mean to make things over complicated this doesn't mean to i uh, will flatten over here anyways we're done uh, this doesn't mean to uh, make your strategy so hard to understand that you have to think and think no but if i have for example a resistance on previous high on the chart a resistance given me from heat map uh red tape over here so i see sellers also my strategy let's say uh, j lines or the pattern that i'm looking at that moment all together confirming uh, that i need to take the trade and i will have by based by stats a good uh, return i will have a good risk reward and i will have a good percent of win rate okay so i have some questions here for you uh let's see How often do you zoom in uh, on Bookmap? Uh, is it at large liquidity levels only? I think we're just we're just talking about that. Yeah. But you're looking yeah. at the smaller levels too. When you see like uh, the bigger player come in, came in, like they were gaming the uh, uh, the level there uh, earlier. Yeah. So, for example, there are many patterns on Bookmap, and it's hard to cover them all right now. In about uh, uh, one hour, one hour and a half of uh, screen share. But for example, okay, not over here on CLSN, but if we start looking at Litsi, which was pretty liquid this morning, and I start seeing patterns over here, you see this algo holding, they're holding, they're holding, and then over here, they're simply not holding anymore. So this is, they're propping the uh, microstructures with these algos so they're like uh, making it climb and then at this level what they do they simply start like unloading so seller 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 so what before we had with this micro support holding and popping and pushing over here we have the reversal stair step down simply holding hits high and basically pushing it down you see over here it happens again at the open this is simply like a sick one one, two, I believe now we'll form a three and more on, okay? So this stock moved from 17 down to 12 over here. 
Yeah, that, that's a great example. I mean, and and I I really like um I've been even uh, using it I in, in some of the uh, uh, daily advanced webinars that uh, curling uh, over or around. Um, it, it describes it very nicely. So you you see the strength, you see the buying coming in when the heat map shifts and changes, uh, and you see the sellers start to come in on the other side now. Now now yeah. you've got it. Now yeah. it's aligned that's with your higher beautiful. time frame. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see, uh, how did you learn um, or acquire the patience to hold on setups like CLSN? Basically, I lost my eyesight and I'm here from 1999, besides three years where I was uh, just like uh, doing other things and just like swinging or investing. So uh, 2021, 1999, I think maybe a little bit I learned. So just like a lot of screen shared and basically starting over and over. As a trader, uh, you never uh, finish to learn. Okay, You can have 10 years experience, 20 years, 40 years, and still you have to learn more because the market is changeable, it's changing. Market is evolving. Uh, you know, Pantare, uh, everything uh, moves, like Greek used to say. So there's no reason to think, you know, you know everything, you get cocky because that will be the first and last time you will trade. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, like the one the one thing that is just so apparent with all, basically all the webinars that you've done for us, like from the very beginning is the clarity uh, and the um, confidence you have in your setups because you've done yeah. them for so long. Yeah, only with confidence traders, you can basically size, okay? Now I'm at the point in my trading that even in the room, I don't size anymore. I'm more to teach, more to explain, more to show the setups. But if you want to size, you cannot size until you have that confidence. Confidence gives conviction, conviction brings size. Otherwise, every single attempt to put 10, 20, 30 K shares or like 1 K shares of Tesla, or like 50, 100, 200 contracts on options, you know what will happen? You will like get out early, be scared, get FOMO. Uh, you will like simply panic. Uh, you will have insomnia, you will sweat, you will like um, lose your wife or your husband, whatever that is. Instead, start step by step. Takes time, okay? So don't think even if you have a $1 million account, the next morning you can take 200K dollar position. I mean, if you have maybe one building, do whatever you want, but I really like that everybody starts very small, builds consistency, consistency, sorry, and then with time starts to add size and size and size and size. Okay, it's a slow process. Who in the room made six figures, seven figures last year? And I showed on YouTube some videos, and both, actually more than both, but these traders mostly have book map, and Bruce knows them. They took time to reach those levels. Okay, so and basic another thing. If you follow alerts, you are more and you will fail. So you have to learn how to trade. This is what me and Bruce and Bookman are trying to teach you, okay? You can take an alert and that day make 50, 100K. Trust me, everybody, every single person, maybe I spoke with three or 4,000 traders in my life, everybody followed alerts at the end, lost 10 times more of his first big win. Mm. No, that's uh, yeah, exactly. I mean that it, that tells it right there. I mean, uh, uh, you, you you have to know, you have to know what you're doing. You have to build that confidence and that conviction. Um, let's see. Uh, there's some questions here about. Uh, well, uh, first off, um, everyone, uh, to answer several questions, uh, the recording will be in the uh, YouTube. Uh, our YouTube page uh, later today. All of these recordings for the Pro Trader webinar are always in that playlist. I put it into the chat there uh, for um, the Pro Trader webinars. You'll see. So uh, give me like a, a few hours before I can put J Traders up there. Um, and the uh, his contact information is in there as well. People are asking about how to get in contact with you about the J lines or other things. Uh, so that is in there. Uh, and then a few different questions on the um, broker that you're using, but I, I need to uh, reiterate again, uh, Joseph here, um, when he's trading from Bookmap here, uh, this is in sim simulation mode. The, exactly. simu the simulator in Bookmap is very accurate. You can see where he's getting slipped. 
um, on some of those buys right there on uh, uh, the C CLSN. Um, and because the, the simulator is accurate, right? It puts you in the queue. Uh, it doesn't just like randomly buy and sell and get you get your price. Uh, you're in the queue. Uh, but he is uh, he's he's taking his uh, his live positions uh, from another broker, and and people want to know not only uh, that broker, um, but we don't recommend brokers, but you know you, you can say what you use, uh, and then uh, how are also you getting a hold of shorts? Uh, for maybe some of these small caps. Okay, so for everybody, you can contact me or just look at my pay um, page on uh, at JTrader Co. Uh, or my YouTube uh, videos under you will see description. We use uh, we um, uh, prefer to use Cobra Trading in the room. You will have a discount with my link on commissions. Pretty good discount, and basically that gives you the cheapest bars around, no overnight fees versus many other. Uh, brokers that you can short, but that you will have crazy amount of fees. And also it's a very professional customer care. Basically, I would say that uh, is the best out there. Okay, excellent. Um, uh, let's see, I think we've answered all the questions. Um, any other questions, guys? Last uh, uh, last chance here, else, uh, uh, you know, Joseph has been going for about an hour and a half. Uh, and uh, let's we can we can wrap it up here. Uh, what alerts meaning losses? Um, don't know what you mean there, Jerry. Uh, maybe I, I know. Uh, alerts are good if you are following a system together. Okay. So if you follow a blinded person, I tell you that because there are many, like I would say, things to avoid around. Okay. You cannot follow people on the socials, people on in chat rooms. And thinking that if you trade an alert, you will make money. For example, this morning we traded in a room about eight positions. Six were wins and two were stops. Let's say you get in my room and you trade those two that lead to a stop. You'll say, oh, fuck, I lost my money. It's not like that. You have to learn the strategy because if you learn the strategy, you will know yourself what's a good trade, what's a bad trade, how to divide your capital, so asset allocation risk management, and then you can really make money, okay? We have uh, four or five traders this month, and, and the month I will put another post showing the results. They made six figures, so above 100K, okay? And this is very possible. Can I tell if this is possible in one month? Forget about it, okay? Go play bingo. You wanna learn, you use Bookmap, you use a room that really teaches you how to trade. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, well said. I mean, uh, you, you, I mean, Joseph has refined his strategies for decades now, uh, and um, uh, he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, and then he's now he's refined it even more when he knows the order flow at these areas, looking at the book, looking at the volume, looking at the price structure uh, in Bookmap, uh, and it's a, a, a you know a real um, solid confirmation of his higher time frame strategy. Uh, all right, so um, forget about it. Go play bingo. Okay, yeah, and Trader HG likes that. Um, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I I think that's it, Joseph. Uh, uh, thank you uh, very much, um, guys. This is what Joseph does every Wednesday for us. This is part of the Bookmap Education. Uh, if you're interested in that, um, it's uh, uh, you know we have you have, you need Global Plus Bookmap Global Plus for that. Uh, but uh, we have every day at 10 a.m. Eastern time, uh, we go through the order flow uh, in detail. It's forward looking. Uh, and then obviously it's live trading on Wednesdays with Joseph and then also on Thursdays with Scott Pulsini. So we really offer quite a um, education package here to, to start to understand how to use Bookmap and order flow. Uh, and then uh, you want to uh, learn about trade management and Joseph's strategies, reach out to Joseph. You've got his contact information there. Uh, and um, uh, his email, etc. All right, I think okay. it's time for that uh, coffee, uh, Joseph. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could have it together, buddy. Uh, someday, someday, for sure. Yeah, after this situation, okay. Exactly, exactly. I look forward to it. Okay, so everybody, again, thank you for being here. Uh, reach out to Bruce or to me if you have any other questions. Thank you, Bruce, and Bookmap again. 
and uh, see you next week. Thank you very much, traders. Bye-bye.